Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 4 of Factorio with the Space Age expansion 2.0, whatever we call it. Where between episodes I just went back and got an image of our starting location to figure out where oil is, and we just have oil to the left here. There's also oil to the right, but that is probably going to be in the way of everything. So this is just where we're going to get oil. You can also see we have extra iron up here. We also already see this and this, I guess, and the coal. So we actually have a good amount of resources nearby if we want to expand or just require more stuff to fill up. But yeah, I'm just going to keep that open for now. And then I guess we are going to hunt some oil. And to begin with, we're just drawing power over there and putting one of these down so we can actually start research of some of this. I find that a little annoying that you have to pump oil before you can research oil processing. Though I guess you get the research free, actually. But it still seems a little weird. I want to be prepared for when I go so I can bring all of the things I need. But apparently that is not the idea, and I can live with that. I just have to adjust. Slow. Please don't have spiders come and attack me while I'm over here. That would be annoying. Okay. Oil. Have they changed this? It didn't used to smoke, did it? Also, smoking seems weird. But I don't know how an actual oil pit would look, if I'm honest. So I probably just don't know what I'm talking about. But it looks nice, anyway. <laughs> we have now pumped oil. Awesome. So now we can go back and make machines to process the oil. And that is the part that is weird. Should we just put some turrets up here? Of course, we could also look at our map and see where spider bases actually are. So there's spiders somewhat close to this. If we just... I think we these are the ones we killed in the last episode. But it shouldn't be that many bases we have to kill to actually be somewhat safe again. But again, I'm just too lazy. I think... No, this is not going to be attacked, is it? I don't believe it. Of course, I could have just made enough pump jacks and brought those. So I didn't have to come back here and then I could have run the oil along back with me. So if I had thought a little ahead, I wouldn't really have any problems with this change. Oh, and did we not bootstrap some engines for a car. I th think we did and probably should have made a car to go out there, but we can do that now. Spiders. We need to take those out at some point, but again, I think we want more grenades and we want to upgrade that damage. Why is this so slow? Oh, also we have a nice graph for that. Silence per minute 38, so less than one per second. And we basically build enough production for two per second. Except they have a crafting speed of 0 0.75. Oh, it's actually our labs that can't keep up now. That's a luxury problem. Okay. Engines. For a car, please. That would be nice. I thought we did it here. Did I not 
do it? Did I not save after doing it? Oh, we did it down here. No, wait, what? I am confused. We did it in the middle of everything. It's right here. Okay. I am just going to build more than one car, I think. Thinking a little ahead. I will be dying again, so maybe we put a car over at our spawn location. Maybe we just leave a random car here, and then we take one with us. Not sure why I couldn't pick that up. Okay. We still need pumps and oil stuff. I think I can ha handcraft these, but there's a there reason to. If we have everything needed here anyway, there's not really a reason to it, I don't think so. We need to do these upgraded. And I would like to upgrade it all so I don't keep getting lower tier stuff in my inventory. Good. So we do have everything here, right? Except for pipe, which is right here, actually. So if we had an assembling machine here, we could actually get pipe in pretty easily. Somehow, luckily. Incidentally. What else do we need? Steel from one belt, gears, and we need stuff from all three belts. And we need bricks on this belt. Okay. So this will go under. That's the two other belts, then this belt, then power. Steel chest. How did a biter get into the middle of that? Dang it. We probably have to go and take care of that. Uh, brick onto this belt first, though. One thing at a time. Yeah, we have to go. And let's just go all the way. Yes, awesome. Oops. Well, we have a car. It shouldn't take too long to fix this spider. Done. Still no idea how it got in there. But I would guess it slipped past some turrets up here. Hmm. Speaking of biters. They are actually getting close now. These four seem to be the most important, so they get more ammo while we're here. More cover. And that's all I needed to do, right? Get my car and go back. I'm just grabbing some extra coal for all these cars. Oh, and I wanted to put a car around here where we spawn. With fuel. Good. I'm not going to automate pump checks, simply because they, we rarely need them and it's not that bad to craft them. These are now crafting awesome. 
For now, we just do 10. Is my inventory this full because of copper and pipe stuff and belt and inserters? I don't need this many inserters. I don't think. However, I do need faster inserters. Chemical plants is also a thing we should just make right away. That also needs pipe. Can we keep this stuff going? If they move these up here. We can do this. Steel green, so again from to belts here. Well, from three belts, I guess. Good. That is also going. So so far the only thing we have sort of half test is fast inserters. Which feels nice to not do all the time, but still. Still have too much cover. Good. Problem solved. Maybe we need a few more of these. Should have brought power out there with these, but whatever. These will start backing up again at some point, but we could speed output up a bit to make it faster. Just need 10 of these to begin with. I always do 10. Just, I guess, because it's much easier to calculate the numbers then. I am just going to bring some green circuits along in case we need them at some point. Also, these can go back in there. I can craft some steel. And then we just need a few more chemical plants. I think we have plenty pump jacks. I have 14 of those now, that is probably fine. I am going to grab some extra ammo and walls and grenades, I think. This is fine to not block, I think, as long as we have enough resources and don't feel like we are losing a bunch by this. But yes, this seems like a good idea. If we had more coal we might have more grenades no they are all working no they're not never mind also we need better input if we want this to be fast but then we're backed up on everything anyway so it doesn't matter not really not right now Okay, more underground is always nice. A few more of those. Gun turrets is a thing we want more of. And let's just get going in a car.
Is that everything? I think it is. And then we need better protection. Because we don't want to have to come back here all the time. And I'm just going to fill in a full magazine into those. For the same reason. Don't want to come back. Good. Might as well get these things started. Where is advanced oil processing? Probably behind this. Yes. And it is just normal stuff. Okay. We should still queue up more stuff, I think. Stronger explosives is always nice. I think after this we can one-shot trees. Not that they are biggest problem right now, but it's always nice. Okay. Where do we want to process all of this oil? Dang it. One bite again. I think we're going to kill biter bases when the explosives research is done. And we have the time, so never, basically. Please don't kill my car. I just placed that. So close. 51 HP out of 450. Repair. Do we need some turrets up here? We will be close by these, so I'm not going to load in too much. Good. Figure out where oil processing goes. We could do it right here. I think trains eventually will be going out over here. We lost a turret up there. Hopefully that's everything. So I think trains will eventually go on this in this general area. Mm, so we can basically do it where we want. We don't really need this area for anything either. And that's a bit closer, I guess. Pipes might be annoying, but then not really. We need water. I think we're just pulling it down here. Maybe even closer. Sure. So, I think that is new in 2.0 is that you can somehow flip the fluid inputs and outputs in this. Does that give us any advantages? We can not have the uh, gap between the machines, I guess. Do we want to try this? We do. Am I still going to have double things here. Oh, are we going to move this up?
Oh, I still have to flip them every now and then, of course, unless we can just paste on top. We can. Awesome. I'm just going to make all of these equal. No, I'm not. Never mind. And we don't really need these parts yet, so I'm just going to... Well... Leave some of it, maybe. This doesn't go there, though. Wait, what? Now I am confused. Yes, it does. Should we move this up one tile to match this? This is equal to this, so this should output up here instead. Sure. Whatever. Good. Oil input can go like this. Water will eventually go out here. Also, we should have much easier of a time managing our fluid throughputs in pipe because they've changed accident significantly other than just giving us these lines to look at. It's just a lot easier to keep up pressure and it will give you a warning if you have too little pressure, I guess. Are we going to do this? Yes, we are. Sorry, if you have too little pressure, it tells you to add a pump somewhere. I think. Or maybe it just gives you a warning without telling you where. I don't know. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. So I am expecting it to give us a warning. Good. Of course, we don't need the water in yet either, but now we are ready for it. And of course, now the water is in the way, if we build up here at least. So, how about here? That can work. Still need to power this stuff, of course. That that won't reach, unfortunately. So we guess I guess we just do this under uh, the middle, under the top. So under the top, under the middle, under the top, under the middle, under top, under middle. Under top. Wait, what? No, under middle. Sorry. Maybe that makes sense, maybe not. We'll just fix it when we need extra pipes then. For now, let's just power this and get some oil in. Oh yeah, now it shows us red. Is this marker? Tells us that several times. So what does that actually mean? Do we need a pump there, there and here somehow? Because now that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. If we do this, I think everything is fine. We'll remove that and wait a little bit. Everything is fine. 
So I'm guessing that if we just put a pump here, everything is great. Of course I need to make a pump, and for that I need engines. We need this for explosives for tanks, I think. So we're going to do that. We're going to do this. We're going to do that if we had enough queue space, but we don't. Of course, to power pumps, we also need to drop power along with our, <coughs> along with our pipe. But I think that's okay, especially if we just take some big power poles. No, give me some engine units and then I'll go fix stuff. Did we just lose our turrets or something? Why are you attacking belt? That makes no sense. No, oh, no, I'm not good at bagging around, inverting my controls. It's much, e much easier to uh, repair builds, so I'm actually okay with that. But they don't usually do that. I guess we should still repair all of this. Stop it. Did they get here from the same attack or are they different? They can't have been here all the time. Then we would have noticed, I think. I would like to think at least. Probably not though. Oh, and we have more incoming. Stop it. Well, that didn't work out. We need to go kill Bida soon, because this is getting ridiculous. We should spawn nearby, but we don't have a lot of stuff, and I didn't put ammo in here. My corpse, please. Oh, this is still shooting. Switch weapon, thank you. All of our stone mining is gone. Well, before we do anything here, we're going to go grab more ammo. In case more comes. That's not a lot. Want a lot of those at some point. Okay. No, that's not how it goes. Okay, where do we put turrets to defend this most? I guess we have to have several locations. So half a stack in there. And try to put the rest in here. Yeah, 
address will be fine, I hope. Oh, let's put walls as well. We have them, might as well use them. I'm not going to do too much here. Especially since we're getting attacked up, attacked up here now. Oh dear. And I used all of my ammo. It's not like we actually need ammo here, it's just that we are attacked a lot. Apparently they got through. I don't have ammo, I just said. Stop it! Dang it. So much work goes into this. We need turrets here, but I don't have ammo for it. So that will have to do for now, I guess. I'm not sure why I'm not just putting walls there, but I'm not. I need to fix this still. It is going to be so nice getting to robots when we have to fix this, if it's still a problem by then. Good. Anyone else feel like we should have a lot more ammo production? That's just going to delay us. Which means we will have more Bida evolution, which means we will have a bigger problem defending against them. Oh well. Oh, we were trying to do pumps and draw power. I think we're just drawing power from out here, because that's power production. Makes sense to me. Keep trying into the furnace, that's a good idea. And this must be where we planned for this pump to be. Hopefully we don't have to defend our pumps. I don't think they make pollution, so hopefully not. We'll need to drag our pipe. Actually, that's more important. Because we might not need another pump. Awesome. Still doesn't look like everything is working, but I might have missed a pipe somewhere. Because this is 100% full already. I put the, pi oh, the pump in the wrong direction, obviously. So why wouldn't I? And yes, this is filling up fast, so it seems to be good.
Okay, ignore that for now. I sort of forgot that we don't actually need chemical plants here to begin with. Because we just get petroleum and nothing else. No. Don't you dare. Well, you dared, I guess. Not really much I can do about it. Dang it. That everything we have oil we don't have water yet but that's fine mm. grab more ammo and I guess go kill Bidas we already got explosion damage right because it's not here anymore maybe we need some armor maybe we need more of this stuff i also wanted better inserters but that can really wait this is also necessary though for me right now though we can do some heavy armor and put that on if we get out of our car ever Iron is low, though. That's bad. Why is iron low? I don't know. Uh, we getting rid of this. We are putting at least a magazine in there. We are repairing this. We are figuring out why iron is low. Copy, paste. We're using a lot of gear wheels, that's probably the reason. But how come this belt is low? Is it just that we have been taking from one side more than the other and the one side stagger is not empty. Looks like that could be the case. Somehow we have a full belt here. And most of that is apparently put up here. Alone coal again. But is that because we had a problem with Bidas? I don't know. I shouldn't sit around waiting. I should go and kill Bidas before they become a problem again. This is not helpful right now. Go away. Can I upgrade these afterwards? Not without blue science. Okay. Grenades. And look where I'm going. It's difficult to remember more than one thing. Well, that isn't too bad yet. But maybe this is worse, since it have a raiding party ready. Also, I did lose half my 
HP on the car. So it was sort of bad. Good. One area is sort of cleared. I guess the pollution is going past this already. Not really, because there's trees. Trees are awesome, except when they're not. Spiders. I don't have any more turrets. Oh dear. I think these are better used with piercing. I don't run around a lot. Give me one more, thank you. Can I not repair while sitting in it? I guess not. Did we know where these are? I guess there's some up near uranium and to the right of that. So where is uranium? The spider sea at least. And uranium, okay. Remember to shoot my mm, submachine gun, whatever is on the car. And repair before we go to the next, because I don't want to be stuck up here. And I don't want to die either. Why do I have this here? Okay. Hopefully that gives us some air on this side. Should probably scout this area. And I think we will just do that right away because we haven't really gotten much done. Not because I didn't want to, but because of distractions from biters. This is a nice wall of trees for the pollution to be absorbed. As long as we don't produce too much at least. Good. This feels very uh, much much like work and us actually getting work done because this should help us a lot. So maybe it's not too bad. Do we have enough fuel? Yes, good. Do we not have pollution down here yet? Or did it just send a raiding party? And that's why there's not a lot here. Because I can't really see that there should be any trees or anything here to block pollution from getting here. So I would have expected this to be full of biters.
Well, apparently the pollution doesn't extend that far yet. It's still nice to clear it, though. We have 40 ammo left, but that should be fine. If we've only used 60 so far. Though I'm not sure if we took extra at some point. Oh well. This area is probably good because of the trees, so hopefully that was it for now. Good, let's go back to oil stuff and blue signs. So for now you can wait. Is still our labs being slow? Yep. I don't think that will keep being the case, but it could also be they've just slowed down the research or something. I don't think I usually have this problem with 32 science labs. But who knows? We need blue science. I want modular armor at some point. I wanted this, I wanted this, I wanted this for better normal inserters. And then I think we're just going to let that finish while we work. Are we going to add more of these? We can research more lab speed soon. Could add more, one more row of these, I guess, to go to 48. Let's do it. Three rows isn't going to be a problem, is it? With how much they can each have, have in their inventory? Hopefully not. Good. Fifty percent increase in speed. That is pretty nice, I guess. Good. So what is up next? We should get the petroleum on the bus. That is also always helpful. We are just going to reserve some extra space for more belts. I think four more here. And then have pipe with a space between them. Petroleum, sulfuric acid, water, and lubricant. Sounds good to me. We should be able to get stuff up through here, I think. Otherwise, we can just go over here or something. Shouldn't matter too much. We have petroleum. I think we're going to run this right up against here. And I don't think there's anything in the way here really, but maybe later. And I guess I didn't put this corner in. Nope. Or this corner for that matter. Good. Petroleum on the bus. Good. That is used for sulfur, for sulfuric acid, for blue signs, and other things. Well, this doesn't take sulfuric acid, of course, but the sulfur goes to this. Do I want to make red circuits and engine units first? So I can take sulfur directly from my sulfuric acid production and route into blue signs as well. Sounds good to me. So. We need red circuits. For red circuits, we need plastic. 
plastic, we need chemical paints. One belt of plastic seems to never be enough for red circuits, but at that point maybe we're doing trains and stuff. Who knows? Or we can just do more plastic later. Guess we will have power between these setups, like so. So we need coal in here, plastic coming out. These produce two per second. So that's only eight so far. Also, that requires blue inserts for output, I think. And we balance belts. Good, and coal. Still have to take care of coal problems, though. So maybe we do this right away, because this is a sad thing to look at. So we have a full belt here, but that is being... No, we don't have a full belt. We had a full belt here. Oh, it's still going okay. But why don't we just mine this coal and dedicate that to fuel, maybe, to start with? If only we had more miners. Probably shouldn't have run this right up against here because then we can expand. But there's a pain for a later time. Research is already done. Awesome. We want useful stuff now. But they all require blue signs, but this is useful. Don't think I'm going to do landmines. Maybe we want to do flamethrowers at some point. But those don't work too well with outposts, I feel like. It's best if you just have a big wall around your whole thing, the whole base. And I don't like those too much, because they are too much work for me, I feel. Oh, new thing. Quality module. That is right. I think... Eh, how do you look at these tooltips? Apparently you don't. And there is a... New thing. Factoriopedia. Alt-Left-Click when hovering over an object. So we now have a... Wikipedia in-game. And if we get quality chemical uh, uh, plants, they will do higher crafting speed, which isn't that interesting. 
But if we look at something that is interesting, I think... Better inventory size bonuses. Better equipment grid size. 15 by 15 instead of 10 by 10 is quite a big difference. I think that's more than twice the the tiles. Yes, it is. In my head, at least. Also, we have better personal batteries now. Awesome. What does it do for batteries? Energy capacity, obviously. Roboports. Robot limit, awesome. Well, it's not like we needed that much, but with vanilla armors. Also, we get a mech armor. With slightly bigger grid size. Better inventory. So this can get quite big, that's awesome. I guess this is only on other planets, or it's unlocked on other planets at least. So yeah, that's just the thing. Quality modules. I don't know how they actually work, but we'll figure it out I guess. This amount of coal is obviously not enough for this stuff. Power, I mean. Hmm. We didn't. Yeah, well, we did make 27. Okay. That should be fine then. Whoops. That should be the whole field being mined, I think. Good. Do we need to balance sides? Because this side will now have more. Good. And we're still keeping up so far. You are doing good work, but I have more work to for you to do. Okay. More coal. And more coal coming. And hopefully that means we get enough coal for smelting and for the bus. Are we actually consuming half a belt for smelting? Seems a little wild, but maybe this is just filling up still. Good. That should mean we now get more plastic. And we can use that for... The red circuits we were talking about. I guess this just go next to coal. Because why not? Good. Red circuits. I think we are just doing a direct insert build. Like this. Have green circuits and plastic on a belt here. Have copper here. Maybe have copper here and have a possibility of adding another belt of this stuff. Or maybe not. Hmm. 
So that powers everything, on this side at least. That looks nice to me. I'll go into mirror this though. As we always lack red circuits. But then we always lack plastic for more red circuits and more green circuits for more red circuits. Because it is two to one. I think I do want to reserve space for this. And see what other problems we then face. Plastic, I am just going to siphon directly from here though. Plastic green in there, pop up in here. Power. Power. How much are we making here? It's four per second. After these got upgraded, they should be able to handle it. I think. Oh, input of cover. Input is good enough. Output seems to be good enough. Of course, this is overproducing, so it's a lot less we have to handle. Okay. And then we just take this whole thing and copy paste around. Good. I need more underground belt for that. And we need more science. I'm going to wait a little bit with this, because I want to get some work done while we're not being attacked by biters. Uh, we need this for solar power, power for our armor. Might as well do this. Okay. So yes, we're building red circuits, but unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.